Field is locked away for the Lexus Melbourne Cup. Stand by for a start. They are ready. Locked away. Gates are back and they're racing. They're off in the cup and Knight's order towards the outside. The best to jump with Val and Declare. Due a smoke and Romans isn't too far away. And also Kamora showing speed without a fight. The international in the yellow jacket is also up there with the leaders across the track in the first two or three hundred metres. Poking up his grand promenade from barrier number one also. Interpretation drives up to lead with smoke and Romans. Val and Declare and grand promenade. Kamora without a fight out even deeper and Knight's orders about seven wide at this stage with Serpentine out there with him. They were followed by Vow and Declare and back in the field Stockman and Dewis an emissary from Hu Yamal. Then came Young Verda who's a little keen three wide. Next in the field Roma well, Flowers and then came Gold Trip Higher Motion. Then Deshaun Sweet Jr. Second last off the rails is Montefilia and at the end of the field settling down into stride is Arapaho as they leave the straight with 2,000 and 200 metres to run and the favourite Dover legend midfield so Smoke and Roman Serpentine leave the running with Serpentine going to the lead interpretation third they were followed by Kimura Tralee Rose is off around them now three wide to improve her position a length grand promenade without a fight Numerian a length Dover legend then came Knight's order who couldn't quite get in three wide a length away Val and Declare Emissary next is Jewish Stockman and then Hu Yamal Realm of Flowers is one off the fence Around that runner is Young Verta. Then came Gold Trip to Shan Sweet Jr. Higher Motion Montefilia. And at the end of the field in the Lexus Melbourne Cup is Arapaho. 1,600 metres to run and the leader is Serpentine. By a length and a half, Tralee Rose. Two further back in the field is Smoke and Romans getting a gun run on the outside of Interpretation. Three lengths Kimura, a length Grand Promenade. And then came without a fight, a length Dover Legend tucked away on the fence. Knight's Order continues his run three wide. A length away Numerian midfield Dewis and then came Emissary Vow and Declare. Further back Young Verter, then Huya Malin Stockman. Next in the field Gold Trip two thirds down to Shan Sweet Jr. Well back on the fence. Montefilia is getting moving. Then came Higher Motion Realm of Flowers and Arapaho is last. Serpentine a thousand metres to go. Just led from Tralee Rose. Knight's Order is going to try and set the cup alight and moves up three and four wide and goes to the front early. Smoke and Romans going with him. So as they reach the 800 metres and Knight's Order has taken off, two legs in front of Smoke and Romans. Daring tactics without a fight. Slid up to third. Dover Legend got to fourth. They were followed by Dewis. Tralee Rose in reverse. Then came Realm of Flowers to the outside. Next Young Verda Gold Trip. But Knight's Order is going to try and break their hearts in the Lexus Melbourne Cup at the 450. Led by two legs Smoke and Romans. Here's Dover legend presenting and gold trip down the outside emissary is behind those gold trip moves up takes the lead from dover legend 250 meters to go emissary running on gold trip 150 meters to go wondering about getting tired emissary is trying very very hard but gold trip is brave 100 to go a length and a half emissary gold trip is going to win the lexus Melbourne cup gold trip wins it in a real staying contest for the ages two legs emissary late third high emotion then dover legend next to finish in the race realm of flowers to sean sweet jr then came stockman bow and declare arapaho spoken romans knight's order then grand promenade bonifilia who you without a fight young verta tralee rose jewess and some tired horses walking over the line numerian serpentine and kimura will not complete the course Gold Trip has won the 2022 Lexus Melbourne Cup, giving Kieran Ma and Dave Eustace their first Melbourne Cup victory and a first win in our most famous race for jockey Mark Zara. Carrying number one saddle cloth and 57 and a half kilos after a gallant second in the Caulfield Cup. Gold Trip has gone one better in our greatest race. It was a dominant staying performance. Emissary has run a huge race in second and high emotion.
the stablemate to the winner has come from last to flash home for third. Doville legend, the favourite, a weakening fourth in the Melbourne Cup. But Gator, what a training performance by Kieran Barr and Dave Eustace to get gold trip home in the Melbourne Cup. Yeah, look, it's the day Kieran Barr and Dave Eustace will never forget, isn't it? And uh, look, he's done a great job because there were queries on him at the 3200. There were queries on him. Can he carry the 57 and a half and still beat them? Oh, he's only won one race. Maybe he's not that good. Well, wrong. He was just as strong as anything on and through the line. A powerful performance gave him all weight and a beating. Emissary, terrific. Dover legend probably beat himself being so keen early. He loomed to win it. He didn't quite run the, the 3200 out strongly. High emotion you've mentioned as well. But it's all about the winner and gold trip. And it's all about Mark Zara. He finished second in the Caulfield Cup, second in the Cox Plate. Brent, he's now won our greatest race, the Melbourne he Cup. He certainly has, Mark Zara. Congratulations to you. Try put this feeling into words. Oh, I can't. I just feel like crying. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a day. <laughs> That's the word that so many jockeys who have won this great race use. Unbelievable. <laughs> what went through your body as you crossed that finish line? I bet that oh. last hundred felt like it went an eternity. It did. You know, I, I got to the front a bit, a bit soon, but I, he's a horse that when you go for him, I really want to go for him. You know, don't give him a chance to think about it. And, uh, yeah, that last hundred, I was thinking, it's just piss off. No one come near me, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's just elation, absolute elation when you cross the line. How long have you dreamt of winning a race like this, the Melbourne oh, Cup? <laughs> I've never really thought about it, yet, to be honest, but um, yeah, I don't have to dream of it anymore, I guess. <laughs> this is reality now. Did you watch this race growing up as a kid? Yeah, absolutely. Mum used to give us uh, the day off so I could watch it. So, uh, yeah, it's just surreal, absolutely surreal. <laughs> Do you have to pinch yourself to think there's kids at home who've had the day off and they're watching you right now? Yeah. This is your chapter. Absolutely. My little one's at home. My wife is here and uh, all the folks back at uh, WA, just uh, oh, what an amazing feeling. <laughs> you have no idea how what WA will be going off for you right now. Congratulations. You are a Melbourne Cup winner. Cheers. Thanks, Brittany. Well done. And Kieran Ma is the toast of the Melbourne Cup. Kieran Goldtrip.